Can I ask you a few questions, Penelope? Huh? Yes? Yeah. Excellent. I was a nurse in the war. A nurse? Mm -hmm. And I'm saving the baby patient. Saving her. Saving her from what? From the war. This is not my house. This is not your house? My house is a little big house. So where is your house? I forget. Where did you live? Farm. How did you die? It just so Penelope, if you can remember something, I'd like to hear it. Relax. Keep your eyes open. Now, try and remember. What do you want for dinner? I get to pick. Yes, you do. Anything. Mm. <laughs> Let's see. Come here. Daddy and I love you so, so much. You know that, right? You keep saying that. What's your special wish for today? Can I see a plate? Okay. How late? Mm, as late as you want. 10? Yep. Yeah! Mm. Ah! Go! <laughs> I'm tired. Yeah, I'm gonna go take a lay down. Come up here. Whoa. Lord, I want to be 
Isn't that beautiful? All right, everyone now, uh, here is love. Have you guys ever seen a jellyfish? What if I told you that there was this variety of jellyfish which doesn't age like you and me do? In fact, in fact, what? This jellyfish will never die, at least not due to old age. And when it gets old or sick, it reverses its life cycle, essentially becoming a baby again. Scientists nicknamed it the immortal jellyfish. God does some strange things. Is that your rocket sweetie? Yeah. Okay. You just keep looking at it. And you, you look at the lines. And you just draw what you see. Okay, look at me. Okay. You call your folks? No, I'm not going to tell them. Tell them what? Nothing, sweetie. What's your special wish for today? Do you have any ideas? Do you have any fun ideas? <sighs> headaches. These little ones, every four hours. The big ones are for her tummy. Little for pain, big for nausea, okay? Okay? Mom, this is a child's dose? I may be retired, but I think I still know my stuff. And you don't, you don't need to write anything down. I will come by every day after dinner and see how things are going. And you call me if anything comes up, okay? See her before I go, please. Yeah. Hey, how come you're still awake? I'm talking to the man.
Oh yeah. diapers anymore. My maid. You sure? Because I don't smell anything. My maid. Your mag? What is a mag? My mat's mom sells the dormant. What did you say? My mat's mom sells the dormant. Sandy started playing dress up. She was Alice, I was mad at her. I don't imagine uh, that's something Jan and I would do. I wanted to be the Cheshire cat, but uh, she didn't want me to. I think my smile kind of creeped her out, you know. <laughs> 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 Thanks, bitch. I got more. If you need them. I know you do. Daryl, God knows I've always looked up to you. You're a good man. You got a great wife. You know, you guys are gonna get through this. You wanna go for a jump? Mm. No, you go ahead. You didn't hear me? No, I guess not. I'm just gonna finish up my last and puff this up here. Be right out. Okay. You're not hungry, sweetie? No. Do you want something else to eat? Abby. You just want to play, don't you? Yeah. How about you show Daddy what it's like to lift off, okay? Five, four, 
three, two, one. Okay, now show Daddy what it's like to land on the moon. I don't know. You don't know? No. Should be do. Hey, do you want some waffles? Yeah. yeah? Come on, show me how to land on the moon. I never did. You never did? No. Well, how come? The fire. On Friday, can you run my Mitchells? The fire? We never had a fire, sweetie. The fire and then we go to the moon. Who's going to the moon? Paul is going to the moon. Yeah? Yeah, any, anything else? Uh, coffee filters. Catch. Wow. Be a dog, Mom. <laughs> Yay. Sorry, bud. We're gonna attack uh, the digital monster. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we were dogs in real life. How well, come? The dogs are never sad. Well, dogs get sad sometimes, just like people. Are you sad, sweetheart? No, you are. <laughs> How are you, Heather? I'm doing okay. I, uh, I heard about Abigail. Hi, Dom. Hey, Jerry. Excuse me, Dustin. On us. No, that's okay. Thanks, Jerry. But come round back with me. Got some goodies for you, girl. What is that? Jerry just gave them to me. Hey, where's Abs? Abs, come see what I got. She's resting. Thought her and I could go set him off at Masaki later. What are you saying? I mean, you could come too, I guess. Oh, can I? Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, as long <laughs> as you pretend you're having a good time. It's okay. Mm. Mom said she needs to be in bed by seven, actually. So maybe tomorrow during the day. Yeah, fireworks kind of have to be at night. She should sleep. Why? What's that? Come see. Fireworks. Yeah! Take a look. 
Excited? Yeah, he's sleepy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Remember, we're not gonna tell mommy about this. Cause she would say, you're supposed to be in bed. And I don't want her to be upset with us, right? Uh -huh. So this can just be our little treat. Okay? Okay? Good. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> All systems check. Lift off in T minus 10 seconds. You count us down, Captain Abs. Uh, I'm Commander Jones. Commander Jones. Okay. Okay, you count us down, Commander Jones. 10, Ten nine, eight, nine, eight, 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 seven, six, six five, five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. You like some yummy waffles? No. You gotta eat a little, okay? Abby. All right. Jones. You not hungry? Mm -hmm. Come on, strawberries, waffles, and whipped cream. You want a special rocket delivery? Yeah. 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 Okay. Here we go. Special rocket delivery for Commander Jones. Commander Jones. 
new nickname. So how were the fireworks? Awesome. Mmm. I smelt it on her. I was gonna tell you, but it was so cozy sleeping there last night. Yeah. She really should sleep. She loved it. You should have seen her face. Oh no, she's got a cold. I'm sorry. Thank you. Can Abby play? Oh, I'm sorry. She's resting right now. Okay. Okay. God bless. Thank you. It's just fireworks. Abby had a past life. Uh-huh. 
think she was a astronaut in a past life. She told me. She told you. Sort of. When we were out shooting off fireworks the other night, she told me her old name. You're so sure of something. She told you her old name. Yeah. And she told me she was on Apollo 1 and there was a fire. And I checked it out and there really was a fire. How could she know something like that? Exactly like that. Not exactly like that, no. Honey, it's in her brain now. Okay. Dr. Hart said she would act differently. was the first mission to the moon. It caught fire on launch, killed everybody on board. One of the astronauts was named Edward R. Jones. Why would she say her name is Commander Jones? Jones? <laughs> Jones is her preschool teacher. Last week, she told me that she was a butterfly. Little kids say stuff. Not stuff like this. So you believe this? That our daughter is an astronaut? <laughs> Why? Why now? With everything that's Why going now? on. Why now, don't you see? come over and look after her for a bit. Thank you for seeing us on such short notice, Pastor. Oh, any time, any time. Daryl um, needs to speak, speak to you. Well, right this way. Because Jonah the whale was different, he often felt left out. Like that day when he was playing Am I gonna die? Everyone gets to die, sweetheart. Am I gonna die soon? Do you know where you go when you die? Where's that? Houston. <laughs> you mean heaven. One day we'll all get to go to heaven. See Grandpa John be together again. 
Hmm? Sweet little angel face. Boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. <laughs> it's not uncommon to feel lost at a time like yours. Remember, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not into thine own understanding. Daryl. When a time like this arrives in life, a time of great uncertainty, you must realize that God has you in his hand to overcome your fears and doubts. Paul was to the moon. We can't talk about the cave. We're supposed to go to the moon. The fire only goes to the moon. see the truth. Does that make sense, Daryl? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm gonna do what's right for Abby now. Right? Right. Sorry to call so late. I'm looking for a Dr. Fisher. Uh, if you could tell. Um, never mind, I'm, I'm sorry. so funny. Look at all these pies. <laughs> Maybe pie will fix everything. Hi, hi. Um, I was hoping to speak to Dr. Fisher, but I was. Dr. Fisher's no longer here. I know, I know, but I, I really need to speak to him. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll, I'll let you know if he calls. Wait. My daughter's been saying very strange things. Okay. Well, next month's open. If you'd like to make an appointment. I don't have next month. She's very sick. How sick? Terminal sick. I'm, I'm so sorry to hear about your daughter. Why don't you give me your number and I'll pass it along. Thank you. Morning. Honey. This looks great. You're up early. I have a bad dream. Let's see if she's up. Hungry. Are you hungry for a waffle plane? Have some juice then. Get the telephone. Hello? This is Dr. 
Dr. David Fisher? Yeah. Hi. Thank you for calling me back. Yeah. How can I help you? Who is it? No, it's not, uh, it's not the best time. You don't really have much time, do you? All right, uh, it's my daughter. I don't feel good. You don't feel good, sweetheart? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh. Why don't you feel good? Your head or your tummy? Tummy. Your tummy? Is it more ouchy or is it yucky? Ouchy. Ouchy. Daryl? We're gonna go lay down. Yeah, I'm here. You'll need a pen. And then me. I like this little scarf guy. It's really cute. <laughs> there you go out. Hmm? What? Uh, where are you going? I'm going to see Mitch. How come? I'm just done. Daryl. I'll be right back. Hi, sweetie. Bye. 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 You gonna boop, Daddy? Hey, Sandy, is Mitch there? Yeah, sure. Daryl, everything okay? Yeah. Hey, can I borrow your truck? Hey, buddy. Hey. You want some kiwi lemonade or something like that? No. Uh, can I borrow the truck? What's wrong with the colors? Jam, I need it. Okay, where are you going? I gotta go out of town. Where out of town? Out of town. Out of town. You're acting really weird right now, Daryl. What's going on? Nothing. Hey, I'm sorry, I can't borrow the truck. I'll have it back in five, six hours max. Daryl, you can borrow my truck, but you gotta tell me where you're going first. Okay. Well, she, she probably just saw it on TV or something. No, my supervisor. Well, then anywhere from, from Jan? No. What about you? No. Okay, you're in a book. She's four. She said there was a fire. There was. She told me her old name, and she said she pooped her Mac. But she, she pooped her Mac. Yeah. She could have heard that anywhere. Where is Sunday school? There's a doctor in Vancouver who specializes. Things like this. Things like this? What kind of things? Are you actually thinking about going go to see him? Go to see him? Daryl, you need to just go see your little girl. That's why I'm doing this. What, what do you mean? This guy Fisher, he says he has proof. Proof? Proof that I can see her again. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Man. Ugh. What if he does, Mitch? <laughs> what if he has proof? Do you hear yourself right now? He says, uh, Abby knows where she'll be reborn. Yeah. In heaven. Daryl, that's where you're gonna see her again. Oh, I can't wait that long. Now can I have the truck?
Just be back soon. Okay, folks, soon. Go birds. Go birds. Thanks. And who do you think lives in that little cave right there? Trolls. Trolls. I think you're right. <sighs> hey, what's your special wish for today? Roll it, but mark it with a B. Put it in the oven, You made it. It, Dr. Fisher. Daryl? Eckford? Yeah. Come in. You're late. Sorry, it took longer than I thought it was going to. That's okay. That's fine. Traffic. Dr. Fisher, on the phone you said you could help us. Yeah, you've got questions about the afterlife. I guess I want to know what happens when Abby passes on. Well, she'll pass on. At least the Abbey that you know. So what part of her won't? Soul? It's as good a word as any. So you believe people I have... don't believe. No. You just said... When you interview over 2,000 kids from, from all over, who can remember exactly how they died, who can remember the names of relatives that they've never met before? When a three-year-old boy who won't stop saying Pippin leads you to a backyard 300 miles away, a backyard that he's never been to before, and he points to the ground and you dig up a tin and inside are the 50-year-old mummified remains of a pet bunny and on the collar it says Pippin. Believing seems redundant, doesn't it? It's like believing in gravity or believing in birthday cake. He's in there somewhere. Who? The Pippin boy. In here? Mm, it's my life's work in that box. It's videos. Yeah, interviews. 
back when I had tenure. You play squash? I don't know. I'm here about my daughter. Yeah, this is about your daughter. Come on. What do you mean squash? It's research. You said you wanted proof. You came all this way. How can you possibly have proof? Said the Bible thumper. Where's that big teacher of yours? That Mitch is watching football. What's wrong? What's wrong? What is it wrong? Oh, sweetie. It's nothing. I know what nothing means. He's been acting strange. Stranger than his usual strange? Honey, everyone's sky gets clouded from time to time. Remember what your dad always said. God is smiling. Smile back. I don't know if dad would say that now. Of course he would. He couldn't slap the smile off that man's face ear to ear, even on his deathbed. <laughs> that was morphine, huh? Hello? Hey, honey, it's me. Where are you? Uh, I'm seeing a specialist for apps. How's she doing? A, a specialist? We've, we've seen the specialist. Look, can we talk about this later? I'm, I'm with the guy right now. You were with Mitch? Yeah, it was sort of a last minute decision. What are you doing, Daryl? I promise, before church. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I gotta go. Um, give the abs a kiss for me. Love Finished. What do you think? I thought she'd like the colors. I can make something different. It's not a problem. I'll just to. Uh... He's not with Mitch. Where is he? Would you like a soak? Come on, have a soak. your shoes. Roll up your trousers. What exactly are we doing here? I need to get back. I'll tell you something, Daryl. Your daughter is a rare case. For a child to be remembering while dying, you're very lucky. Lucky? Very. How do you suppose I'm lucky? The young can see the past. The dying young can see the future. See the future? Right? It's all about light. I hope this stuff still works. Give me a...
I'm sorry. I drink too much. Well, at least it'll be disinfected. Here. An astronaut. Oh, that's a new one. <laughs> I just can't. Abby and now Daryl. I don't know what to do. You don't do anything. <laughs> you take care of the Lord's little angel. We will look out for Daryl. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. He said he'd be back for church tomorrow. And he will be. He will be. Hmm. That stuff you said about dying and seeing the future, you really believe that? Do you want my help, Daryl? I still don't know what it is you do. I have a camera, a special camera. I'll bring it by. A camera? It's frontal lobe photography. It's basically an EEG hooked up to a penetrating light, which activates the pineal gland. It's all captured on good old silver nitrate. I'm taking photographs of what? Whatever's going to come next. Look, my career is in the pits, and as I said, your daughter is a rare case. I'll call you in a couple of days. Your daughter doesn't have a couple of days, Daryl. It's now or never. I, I just need to go in there and, and just get a couple of shots. I have to talk to my wife. This could be the chance you need to see your kid again. I'll call you. All right. I'll see you around. You probably put some ice on that, too. Night, night. Thanks for coming. Oh, geez. You spooked me. Is everything all right? Daryl thinks Abigail is an astronaut. An astronaut? Jan needs our help. What, uh, what do you want me to do? Morning, Mitchell. I just pulling your leg. I uh, heard you had his truck. Hey, Bill. Sorry, I'm rushing. Gee, Get gee. back. What happened to you? Yeah. You good, Daryl? Yeah, I'm fine, Bill. I'm fine. Yeah. Smells like the hard stuff. You know, it's been tough for you and Jan. I don't drink, Bill. You know that. Well, uh, something's been drinking. Yeah, that was a spill. Uh-huh. And uh, the shiner? Squash, squash, yeah. I was at a squash court. You were playing squash? That's right, Bill. I gotta go. How'd you uh, like to let me give you a lift into town, Daryl? No, I'm fine, Bill. I'm, I'm really, I'm fine. I can't uh, just let you drive on out of here like this. Ava told me about your, your difficulties. What do you mean, difficulties? I won't give you a ticket. Look, I'm not drunk, Bill. Where's Dad? He'll be here soon. Okay, if you start. 
start to feel bad. We can leave, okay? Here, take your swallow pills. No. Abby, please. They hurt my throat. him, praise him, ho oh, ye little children, God is love, God is love. Love him, love him, ho oh, ye little children, God is love, God is love. Love him, love him, ho oh, ye little children, God is love, God is love. Thank him, thank him, oh ye. I can explain. Bill pulled me over. I know. Dear Lord, thank you for this food which is laid before us. Let us use it to nourish our bodies and need to nourish our souls. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Barbara, bring it. Could I pour you some tea? Yes. Yes? Okay. Or do you want to pour the tea? Me. Okay. But this. Can I come play with you guys? What do you think? Daddy play with us? Okay. The dog. <laughs> Hey, morning, Daryl. Where's my truck? Oh, darn it, Mitch. Where is it's, it? It's uh, it's still in the lot at BKV. It's in the BKV lot. No, no, I'm sorry, Daryl. I need my truck for work. You know that. I know. Let me grab my keys. Don't bother, okay? I went and I picked it up already. Dude, I'm here to talk some sense into you. All this spaceship stuff, you go out, you get a DUI, and my girl... I wasn't drinking. Doesn't matter, just... 
Grab your trunks. What do they think? It's stuff I don't want to say and you don't want to hear. But you, you show up late to church. You're leaking a booze. You look like you just got into a fight. People talk. You don't think that, Daryl? I don't. I don't know what I think anymore. Look, I know. You and Jan are going through a lot. But we all are. You know, don't go making it any harder. Come on. Let's go for a jump. No, uh, you go ahead. No, uh, you're coming. I'm fix you up. Let's do it. You really get that from playing squash? Kinda, yeah. <laughs> Should've just said I walked into a door. Yeah, that or a cannonball. How is Masaki? It's cold. I got something fresh. We could give it to her together. Are you kidding me? What? What are you doing? Well, Abby what loves are space, you doing, so Daryl? Abby loves space, so I got this for her. No, you got it for you. Will Abby like this? Jan? Jan? Will Abby like this? Yes. That's what's important.
So we'll leave in an hour? I was thinking um, I should stay home today. She's in no shape to go. The whale. Um, church, hon. You have to, Daryl. After what happened there, I don't feel comfortable. Besides, this is our business. Family business. They're our family, too. Family don't judge each other. Oh. So now it's you who knows about family. Is that Sally B? It's really good. things. Okay. How's Daryl? Where's the guy? He's doing better. He's looking after Abby. I knew he'd jump and fix him up. Lots of people. Welcome, everyone. It's good to see you here today. Say, geez. Who are they? Colleagues. You spoke on the phone? You didn't say anything about bringing other people. It's just a precaution to ensure everything runs smoothly. We gather here today, oh, Heavenly Father, to pray for a very special girl and her family who is in all our hearts, your young and beautiful Abigail Eckford. We lower our heads to you as our Lord and Savior. We lower our heads to you and trust that you will accept one of our own, little Abigail, into your holy kingdom. We ask that your blessing be placed on her mother, Jan, and that you give her the strength to persevere. And with your infinite mercy, we pray for her father, Daryl, who is going through unimaginable pain. We do not judge him, Heavenly Father. When God embraces Abigail with his arms, we pray that Jan and Daryl... Yeah, no, turn it off. We're almost done. Jen. 
Jan, listen, I can explain I'm everything. Don't, 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 we just need a few more minutes. We're almost... Get out! Sweet, Fisher. Sweet, sweet, sweet. No, just go. Just go. Just go. Calling your uncle. Fisher, you lied to me. It was almost you done. hurt my daughter. I it will pray for you both. Yeah, yeah, you do that. First, I need you to say that you'll tell Jan something. I'm not going to tell her a GD thing. They deserve peace. Listen, Ava, Ava, I need you to tell Jan to ask Abby if she saw anything. Could you please move your foot? Mm -mm. We're gonna stay the night, okay? Try and get some rest here. Mm -hmm. Smiling. Smile back. Room for one, please. Sorry, no dogs. Well, what am I supposed to do? She got nowhere to go. This is Dog Free Motel. I love dogs, but... You think you could make an exception just this one time? Sorry. No dogs. Room for one, please. Where's your dog? I gave her away. You gave it away? That's right. It's non smoking, all right? Mm hmm. Sally.
she won't talk to you. Ava? No, Daryl, listen to me. You talk to God. He's all ears. Ava, don't hang up. Bless you. I know you're in there. Look, the photos didn't turn out. I'm. There's still a few kinks. We got a little, maybe. Take care, Daryl. I'll see you next time. Think big. How's she doing? Oh, it's about time for her next dose. Did he say where he was going? Daryl? Yes. Just walked off with the dog. Did he say anything? Anything at all? Well, just <laughs> something about Abigail and whether or not she saw something when that contraption was on her head. I mean.
What? If we're friends at all, then you come pick me up at the Robin Hood Motel. What are you doing? Okay, I don't even understand you. I, I gotta go home. I'm sorry. Mitch, please, I need, I need to go see. Sorry, Daryl. Mitch. Goodbye. Mitch. Sal, so, let's go. Said no dogs. Yeah, um, I found her in the dumpster. I guess that jerk that I gave her to didn't want her. So I gotta check out, since this is a no dog motel. Yeah, no dogs. Is that your green car out there? Yeah. I took your keys. I was gonna steal your car. And the dog slept in the room last night. I'm sorry. I'm an astronaut, Mama. Hmm. What's the astronaut's special wish for today? Come see me. See you where? At my house. Your house? Mm-hmm. Where's your house? Houston. Houston? Uh-huh. What color is your house in Houston? Yellow. Are you sure? Uh-huh. And what else is at your house in Houston? Mommy and Daddy and you. And my rocket ship. Shining. When the star goes up, there's a big burst of light that continues on and on forever and ever. So really, the star never goes out. Same with the light in here. It goes on and on forever. Christian, and your good friend. Go, birds.
Please don't say anything. I just uh, need to be here, okay? Jan, are you okay? I'm okay. I'm okay, Mom. How is she? I'm so sorry about everything. You know, she... She told me things. Things that she saw. What did she say? Sweet Pea? She's okay, Ava. together. 